So here's the three simple things you can do to get your jumping up. Number one is gonna be sled. Number two is gonna be jump technique. And number three is gonna be full depth squats. Those three aren't the only things. Those are the three that we yeah. wish we knew earlier. The thing about the sled is it gets your legs strong in a natural motion for jumping while healing your knees. So for example, I've done more backward sled over the last 10 years probably than anyone who's ever you know, lived in a 10 year span. In terms of the jump technique, I grew up with a 19 inch vertical thinking I'd never done, trying all kinds of jump drills and plyometrics, never realizing I need to master the art of jumping. Connor is an expression of mastering the art of jumping. I would have been much better off doing that and not doing extra jump reps in addition to the actual jumping I wanted to be good at. And then in terms of the full squat, that's not to directly make you jump higher, it's to get the muscle stronger, but to improve your knee integrity itself. Let's start with the greatest high jumper of all time in terms of how short he was to how high he jumped. Olympic gold medalist, and he had the most resiliency of any high jump career. And he was that oddball doing full range of motion squats. The idea is not to force into them. We have regressions that my mom in her 60s and anyone else can get into full range of motion. It's a long-term approach to jumping higher. And then even in the sport of dunking, Kadur Ziani has the most insane attention on full knee bend. And then in, in the subject of jumping itself, the greatest longevity case ever, 75 years old, jumping over hurdles, actually invented the deepest knee bend squat. Now Kadur's 47, still dunking. Stefan Holmes in his 40s, still super bouncy in respect to George Hackenschmidt for helping pave the way for that full knee bend. So I just started a new program, ATG volume training. What was the session today? Well, we started 100 yards of HASD, heavy ass sled drive, meaning an amount of weight that slows you down to work into your big toe and your foot. That was the start of the session. Then we did as little as three sets or as much as 10, I'm in the middle of doing 10 sets of 10 reps each on a full squat, which regresses to any level, and a seated calf raise, which regresses to any level and simply hits the effect of the cause. So the cause being the squat to improve your knee, your hip power, well, what's down below that? So by we already have to rest, throwing in the seated calf machine in between each set, well, there's my workout. That was it, sled, two exercises. It can be that simple to totally change how high you jump. And my credentials are only that I was, you know, known for how low I jumped. Literally, I don't know if he could touch the rim with his fingertips with no basketball or anything else. And now I can dunk off all four plants, dunk in games, and life is a whole lot better now in my 30s, even though I reached age 20, having never grabbed the rim.